football. You can't beat this football. The Redskins look terrific in their opener against Dallas. Since then, they have lost six games in a row, their worst losing streak in 30 years, and they lead the NFL in one category, injuries. Only seven starters have been able to start every game. You can say that Richie Pettibone's first year has been cursed. Third and seven for the Redskins. Rippon has it batted up in the air. So for the Redskins offense, three and out. And how many times this year has Mark Rippon had a pass batted down at the line of scrimmage? It was third down and long, not necessarily a, a great place for the Redskins defense to have anybody. They are dead last against third down conversions in the NFL. One of the reasons they can't generate a pass rush. George shovels it to Cash. And Cash buried at the line of scrimmage. Good hustle by the Redskins defense. And Monty Coleman, the first guy there, the 15-year veteran who can still play. And third and six. Ripping over the middle to Sanders. First down at the 34-yard line. And the crowd, for the first time in weeks, has something to cheer about. He's reading the safety right in the middle. See the, see the center go to the middle. See the safety go to the middle. Jason Blazer. Now he sees Ricky coming in. You don't have to make a perfect pass. Brooks, the rookie, has been sensational. Breaks this one. Planted as he got to the 47-yard line. John Baylor, the strong safety, whacked him, but after a gain of 13. Second and nine for the Redskins. Comes the blitz. They pick it up and Rippon with time completes the pass to the 45-yard line. No whistle. Looked like the ground caused that fumble and Sanders able to recover it himself. Tony Stargell, who was in on the nickel package, made the tackle. Rippon with time. Here's the deep ball. Sanders overthrown. Redskins go to the nickel on third and 14. George to the shotgun. Four-man rush. Langhorn, what a catch! A.J. Johnson was all over him along with Al Void Mays, and Jeff George is hurt. What a catch by Langhorn. He hangs in, gets hit low. Look, this is behind him. I mean, that ball is thrown absolutely purposefully behind the receiver and the DB. Look at this play. Oh. Potts. Barreling straight ahead. Gang tackled as he reached the Redskins 45-yard line. Good job up front by that offensive line, which has a couple of pro bowlers added to it. Now it's all him. He takes Edwards on. He takes Carter on. Keeps the legs driving. Banks tries to get in. Bowles comes in. Still can't bring him down. Dawkins back into the game on first and 10 for the Colts. Potts. Little smash mouth football gets him down to the 35 yard line, and that's going to be the last play of a scoreless first quarter. Second and two for the Colts. Potts. Slipped the tackle and carries Sterling Palmer to the 31 yard line. Here comes the blitz. George with time and completes it to Hester. First down inside the Redskin 20. A gain of 11 to Jesse Hester. Tom Carter on the coverage. George with a screen to Potts. Lost his balance. Got up. Lost the ball. Picked up by Darrell Green. Goodbye. Roosevelt Potts, who had done so well on the drive, coughed it up, and Daryl Green went 79 yards. If he has a step on you, there's no one on the planet who's going to catch him from behind. There's no one on that football field that is as fast as Daryl Green, and I don't believe there's anybody in football that's as fast as Daryl Green. The he first points for the Redskins' defense this season. Ted Marchabrota just can't believe it. They have controlled this game the first quarter. Played for field position, got the break by their defense, and then turned it over. 
And that young man is crestfallen over the mistake. Low Miller for the point after. He's got it, and the Redskins on top, 7-0. Potts had fumble problems early in the season. Daryl Green having a brilliant campaign. He's on his way back to the Pro Bowl. They're set up in front. Now what? He just slips. See, he slips. He goes down on his knees, but no one's touched him. A Redskin did not hit him. He's on his knees. Now he gets up, and his knee, you see right there? See that knee? The knee is off the ground. That means that he's up live. The ball comes out, and watch this little bullet go right by you. That's Daryl Green. Faster than a speeding bullet. Nobody's going to catch him now. And Kurt Govea was the man who knocked it away. And Daryl just sees the ball on the ground. I mean, Daryl Green, big play guy. That's what the Redskins need. They need big plays from their big play people. Third and six. Al Noga, George throws sideline, picked off by Collins. And this is something the Redskins defense hasn't been able to do all year, come up with the turnover. The Redskins take over at their own 32, and Mark Rippon on the sideline, Kerry Conklin comes in to take over at quarterback. We'll get word on Rippon if he's injured or not for you in a moment. Conklin under pressure and sacked. And we are told it is a coaching decision, no injury, and Conklin is buried again. John Hand crashed through along with Coriot. They get the second sack on Conklin in three plays, and the Redskins are out of field goal range. Roby up near the rim of the stadium. Redskins will have a chance to down it and hit for Dan. Redskins recover. Rick Hamilton gets the ball, and Clarence for Dan committed the cardinal sin. Watch it. See, he looks to the right. Then he sees people coming. Now he's going back to see where the ball's going to go. It hits him in the back of the head. Doink. Watch this. Look. He looks, he sees all the Redskins back there. Now he's moving back, hits him on the left shoulder. Unbelievable. Mark Rippon back in the ball game. Brooks. Outside. Powers his way to the goal line. John Baylor saved the touchdown. Brooks with some speed, and at 202, he runs very hard. Griffin, quarterback, keeper, second effort, touchdown. The special team's mistake by Verdan sets it up. I think by Richie Pettibone sitting down Mark Griffin, that's called an attention getter. Jeff Bostic, 53, the center, does a nice job on Sagusa, pushes him back, touchdown. The sixth career rushing touchdown for Mark Rippon, and Low Miller is on for the point after. Redskins leading the Colts 14 0, 738 to go second quarter. And if you look at the stats, no indication that the Redskins should be ahead in this game. Only 45 yards, less than half of what the Colts have so far. But turnovers have made the difference, as they usually do. George with time, Langhorn. A.J. Johnson, can't catch him, touchdown. A.J. Johnson, the Redskins have said for years, if he could only stay healthy, he is a brilliant talent at corner. This year he was healthy. He started the year at the corner opposite Daryl Green, and he has been burned to a crisp. Biasucci on for the point after. Knocks it through, and the lead is cut in half. Third and ten. Here comes the blitz for the Colts, and Rippon sacked back at the 15. John Hand, who has had a huge first half. And there's your passing yards. 
126 for Indianapolis. A measly eight for the Redskins. 147 to go for the Colts. George, can he take advantage? Throws on the run, Langhorn, who has had a big first half. Makes the catch against Daryl Green at the 41. Gain of five. Four wide receivers and a slot man. George completes the Langhorn again. First down for Redskin, 33. Clock running with 1.14 to go in the half. Four-man rush, plenty of time. George throws, complete inside the 10. Caught by Aaron Cox, the former Ram, a gain of 24. George with time. Now he has to scramble and throws it away. And the flag goes down. Now is it intentional grounding or a late hit? No, it, it is intentional grounding, and the rule is very simple. George after the penalty to Johnson out of the backfield. Inside the 15-yard line, 34 seconds on the clock, and it's running. A timeout left for the Colts. George looks over the middle, complete again to Johnson. Inside the five to about the four. And they will spend their final time out. Biasucci from 23 yards out to cut into the lead. And he hits it out of the hole of Ron Stark. That's the end of the first half. Our score, the Washington Redskins, 14, the Indianapolis Colts, 10. The Redskins defensive line surged that time. Al Noga in on the stop. What his best game as a Redskin. What great anticipation. You'll see him come off the ball a half a snap quicker than everybody else. Second and 14 for Jeff George. Potts on the toss. Govea got a piece of him and then Banks put him down. Conservative play and Noga in on another tackle along with Bobby Wilson. And Redskins had a chance to block it, and here goes Stark. First down. Lamont Holland Quest came firing through. And a very quick thinking play by Ron Stark. If he punts it, it's stuffed. And he takes off and runs for the first down. I, I personally think that that is a that is a play call. That's unbelievable. Looks Back like up it didn't. Own in. He comes flying in. Nah, that's just heads up play. That is not a call play. I didn't think Teddy was that much of a gambler. <laughs> Blitz and Potts is dumped in the backfield. Third and long for George. Pressure. Throws on the run. Alvoid Mays had it right in his hands and couldn't hold it. He just throws it right into Alvoid Mays' chest and he can't hold on to it. Mitchell and Green again deep. And Ron Stark hoping he can punt this one on fourth and 15. High sailing kick. Green makes the fair catch to 43. Punt of 34. No return. That's Desmond Howard watching from the sideline, the last place he wants to be. The fourth pick in the 92 draft. The Redskins traded up to get that pick. And he has literally had no impact in his professional career. Like most rookies who hold out and top draft choices do, his first year was virtually a waste. But nothing has happened here in the second season. Reggie Brooks, the deep man in the eye. Ripping throws to Wycheck. Watch it make something happen every time he gets the ball. Gain of 14. To the right part of your screen, Ripon with a five-step drop. You can count him. Plant, set, and fire. That's what they would like to do. They would like to keep the ball in that kind of a rhythm. Wycheck delivers the hammer and picks up a few extra yards. Brooks. A nice block from Middleton. Brooks to the 46. Jason Belzer made the tackle. Ron Middleton, the tight end, came over and devastated his man to make that hole. 
He comes over, kicks out on McClendon. Great block. He's trying to bring Reggie Brooks down with one arm. That's not going to happen. The young guy's making things happen for the Redskins. Comes the blitz. Ripping with time. McGee to the one. A 42-yard strike beating Ashley Ambrose. It's a good call by Rod Dowauer, the offensive coordinator, anticipating the single coverage. Right here, Rippon's gonna sprint out, McGee's gonna make the move and just go right up the field. They've got the coverage they want. He moves away from the blitz, sets, throws. Ball's put outside perfectly away from the defensive back. You got first and goal at the half yard. First and goal from a foot away. Mitchell, the deep man. Rippon, the quarterback keeper again. One official is signaling touchdown. They got it. Mark Rippon using that 6'4", 230 frame to get it in. Will Miller for the point after. He missed it. So instead of an 11 point lead where you'd need two touchdowns to win, it is now 20 to 10. It's also the end of the third quarter. Our score from RFK, the Redskins 20, the Colts 10. Griffin throws to the other side, the short completion, Desmond Howard. Pick up about four. One thing about those short pass pack, if you don't have receivers breaking tackles, you don't get any big play. Ripping with a little half roll, throws to Monk, knocked down at the 34-yard line. It'll be a first down. If you need a play, you go to the guy who's been making them for you all those years, Art Monk. Nice catch, knows exactly where the first down marker is. First down, Redskin. Second and nine, ripping the screen to Brooks. Blockers in front. Brooks has a chance. And fights his way inside the 25-yard line. Jason Belser got a free ride for about 15 yards. Brooks just slides out. Real quick screen. Now turn and find people. They caught the Colts blitzing again. Oh, Brooks does a beautiful job of setting up Bostic for the block that allows him to pick up 25 more yards. Rippon. And it's caught on the rebound by Wycheck. Off of Desmond Howard, and the rookie was there. Bumper football. Rip fires it. Ball's out to the right a little bit. Howard tries to make a play. Wycheck just waits for the ball to come down. Little chip in. Wycheck in the flat. Lost the football. And now the real fight begins underneath the pile. Ribbon fires it out to the flat to Wycheck. He gets popped real good on the corner by Ashley Ambrose. There's the ball on the ground. Now who's got it? The Colts are saying we have the football. But an official has already indicated the Redskins have it. And Rick Venturi is going nuts. I don't know why Chick wound up with it. Ripping for Howard. Out of bounds. Tried to drag the toes. Laid out for it. Low Miller will come on for a 24-yard field goal attempt out of Eiler's hole. And he got it. The Colts, who are one of the better teams in the league, scoring in the fourth quarter, 45 points so far this year, are going to need 14 at least. George to Hester, ridden out of bounds at the 36 by Carter. The rookie from Notre Dame has been a very pleasant addition to the secondary. Noga trying to put pressure on. Hester, same pattern, same result. Maybe a yard short of the first down. 
Four man rush. George can't find anybody. Now does Johnson and he dives for the first down and has it at the Colts 47 yard line. Four man rush. The pass complete to Johnson. What a catch. Collins was all over him. What a great job by George looking downfield scrim. Doesn't really know where to go and then just lays it up. Terrific concentration. Look at that. Collins actually has his arm in between he and the ball. Here comes the blitz. To the sideline, an incomplete cash nearly made the catch the 14-yard line. He does a great job of turning his hips, but this is ball is muscled. And look at the touch. It's almost a perfect pass. And Monty Coleman just got a finger on it. Redskins show a three-man rush. George with all day to throw, and it's dropped. Dawkins had it right in his chest, and look at Jeff George. He has been all over Dawkins tonight. That's what, the third drop? And he has ripped them after every one. And they, and they have not been tough catches. That's the thing. He has hit him right in the chest with every one of these passes. Watch this. Right, It's going to be in the middle of the screen. George just wings this thing in. I mean, it's just poor concentration by Dawkins. Fourth and 11. Blitz. The set. Govea will get credit for the sack, but I think it was Bobby Wilson who got there first and forced George to run. Redskins take over near midfield. They'll work on the clock. Brooks got away from him. Brooks to the 32. The Colts trying to tackle the football. Brooks. Room to run on the right side. Inside the 20 to the 17 yard line, and the Redskins get another great seal block on the right side. Right side of the line, Redskins just absolutely collapse it up top. Wide check with an excellent block. Brown 67 with an excellent block. 449 left in the game. Redskins trying to put it away. Play action. Wide check. Ambrose knocks him out of bounds, but it looked like he got another first down. Watch Wycheck. He's out of the backfield. It's just so smooth. I mean, just like a stroll downtown. And then he picks up four more yards. Brooks again. More room to run. Near the two. 105 yards for Brooks. Brian Mitchell and Biner come into the backfield. Mitchell. Touchdown. Jack Kent Cook, a very proud man. He has built a very proud franchise. Low Miller for the point after. Brian Mitchell hasn't played much tonight, but this is a big play for him and the skin. Don Mikowski was warming up, but Jeff George stays in the ballgame. Throws to Langhorn. That's the first catch he's made in the second half after getting seven in the first half. First and 15 after the penalty. Sidearm to Langhorn. Third and five, George toward the end zone. And tipped away by A.J. Johnson. Intended for Clarence Fernand. 
Fourth and five with 2.09 to go in the game. Holds down by 20. Comes the blitz. George has the first down. Hester inside the 15-yard line. End zone touchdown to Cash. Only the second receiving touchdown of the year for Kerry Cash. And Joe, the Colts got exactly what you said they needed. And they ran a very efficient two-minute drill from a no-huddle offense, something they have not done. Colts set up for the onside kick. Biasucci looking for that second bounce, and they have a crack at it. Colts ball. Four-man rush. Complete to Johnson, hit immediately, and taken down by A.J. Johnson. Anthony Johnson with nine catches out of the backfield, third and four. Johnson open again, instead over the middle, complete Langhorn to the 17, 18-yard line. Al Boyd Mays made the tackle, 106 to go. George forced out of the pocket again. Johnson. Cuts back, breaks a tackle, dives the one foot line. Clock running. Touchdown. Clarence for Dan, there's a flag down. Suchi can do it again. And the Redskins cover. Andre Collins got the football. And it looks like the Redskins have preserved the win after being scared out of their wits. Leading 30 to 10 and watching the Colts get 14. And Mr. Cook, I think it's time for another hug. And Kerry Conklin in to kill the clock, the last play of the ball game. Richie Pettibone has some of the edge taken off the win, but not much. When you're one and six, it's sweet. And John Hand, a huge game tonight. Mark Rippon, a fine second half. And the Redskins break the six-game losing streak, the longest in 30 years.